All right, that does it! I'm sick of this sh and I'm not taking it any longer! This is the girls' bathroom! All right, I need to tell you something, Wendy. I'm transgender. What? Did you notice the bow? I'm not comfortable with the sex I was assigned at birth, so I'm exercising my right to identify with the gender of my choice. Now get out of my way, I have to take a sh Dum 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 What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it's finally happened. Well, it happened again for the 50th time. Well, at least at this particular facility, the fourth time or fifth time, this is the second arrest of a biological male claiming to be a biological female uh, going into the restroom at or the changing room of Planet Fitness. And today, it would appear the market has had enough as this news came out and uh, the stock immediately, immediately went down. This is the kind of stuff that people have been warning about. People have been saying this is exactly what will happen. Now it keeps happening. That thing that never happens, a creep went into a woman's space and did something terrible. Yeah, well, then it happened again and again. By the way, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. It helps immensely. And I do want to give a, a quick shout out to Veebs, which is the app I use when shopping custom cu uh, different companies. It's really, really easy to use. Fighting back against these woke companies is super easy when you have this tool because you can just scan a UPC or look up a company, look up stuff like DEI score, you know, woke crap, and uh, find alternatives very, very easily. If you use code 4444 when they ask you to confirm the code, you'll get a free trial. Get the Veebs app today. Start scanning some stuff around your house. See how those company scores. Because uh, stuff like Planet Fitness is really easy to avoid. So Veebs on your cell phone, on Apple and iTunes. No, Google and iTunes. Link in the description also. Uh, unclothed individual, they would say, took advantage of Planet Fitness trans locker room policy to parade his junk in ladies locker room and ask women to shower with him and rub lotion on his back. Of course, he was arrested. Look at this individual. I mean, I, I just, you know, hey, I'm not judging him. He was in a judgment-free zone, apparently. Um, so the man, uh, Christopher Allen Miller, 38, was arrested on Thursday for going into the woman's locker room at a Planet Fitness in North Carolina. By the way, this also happened in Georgia. F the same, a same creep that said, "Hey, uh, I identify as a woman, um, and you know, let me in," and then he'd be like visibly aroused and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, this is what the people keep saying. You know, hey, this, you know. Uh, this would never happen. This would never happen. I mean, what are you talking about? Nothing, nothing would ever happen. Well, it keeps happening. Miller claimed to be a woman in order to enter the female facilities, but there is no indication that they identified as trans. Wait a minute. I thought that was just a good faith. I, I think that this individual was saying in good faith that they were a woman. Who are, who is Planet Fitness to say, Right. Now, maybe this is an epic troll. Maybe this is a dude who's like, I'm going to make a point. I'm going to protect women. I'm going to go in there and do this. But I don't think so. Miller claimed to be a woman um, that he identified as a trans woman prior to the incident. His Planet Fitness membership lists him as male. He also has a beard. Whoa. I mean, women can have beards. Women can have male equipment as well, too, I'm told. The gym's policy allows members to use whichever bathroom and locker room that aligns with the gender identity as part of the no judgment motto. The rule has sparked a wave of backlash against the gym and, prom and prompted customers to um, boycott the establishment, a $400 million loss in value after multiple incidents in which the policy had been abused. Gym goers are concerned about the policy and believe Miller took that policy as a way to act inappropriately towards female customers. Hello, McFly. We know that. We know that. We've been saying that. They, they claim that Miller 
uh, completely disrobed and even asked a woman to rub lotion on him and to share the water. Um, a worried woman who was shocked to see this called 911. It's a man, but he says he identifies as a woman and he won't leave the restroom. I wonder if Planet Fitness is going to ban this woman. I wonder if I wonder if Planet Fitness is going to ban this woman now. He's just walking around and showing us his junk and he won't leave. The 911 dispatcher said, what is he wearing? To which the flustered customer responded, nothing, literally nothing. Interesting. Miller was arrested for felony charge and booked into Gaston County Jail with a $25,000 bond. Betty Bryce, a Planet Fitness customer, is upset that Miller claimed to identify as a woman to stay in the woman's locker room. I think... A woman should be able to go into a woman's bathroom without a man coming in and saying he's transgender, Bryce said. Wow, how transphobic. Clark Simmon, a trans activist, says that the policy creates a sense of safety and security and affirmation for trans gym goers. So the, you're already 0.001% of the population. Now, I've seen a lot of these individuals, and the rate at which they're going to the gym is even less. So you're talking about 50 people nationwide, roughly. Okay, 50 people nationwide. And the millions of other people out there, they have to be uncomfortable so that these 50 people don't feel uncomfortable, by the way, going into the locker room of their actual gender. Obviously, 28 different, you know, and again, need I remind you, this is not even the first time in the last six months. Here's an individual who also claimed this is in Monroe, Georgia. Police Chief R.V. Watts confirmed an incident took place at Planet Fitness in Monroe, Georgia last week with a biological male, you know, whipping it out and, you know, enjoying the views and just saying that he happened to be trans. When obviously the guy isn't trans. But this is the slippery slope that we've talked about. And that there are other incidents, by the way, at the YMCA, for example, you know, the Young Man's Christian Association, where they allow biological men in the same room with biological women at their most vulnerable because apparently uh, much of the church these days is woke, I guess, although they're probably not really related with the church anymore. But again, if you look at the stock too, now I don't know if the market itself is down today. It looks like it's up and down, but this is, you know, a, this is not going to go well for them. You know, you can only pump so much more DEI. You know, the, the news broke this morning and then look at what's happened to the stock. Now, the last five days, it's about even. The last month, it's down 1%. The last six months, though, I mean, this controversy didn't really break until, I think, was it uh, March? So if we look at March 7th, that was kind of a peak at $67 a share. It's now down to $62 a share. The, the founder of the company comes out and says, hey, the company's basically done. This is exactly what everybody has been talking about. This is exactly who, you know, yes, you can see they're just in transition. You know, they've got money for dreadlocks or whatever. I guess I don't know if you have to pay for that or not. But so... What exactly are women supposed to do? Because just like that woman in Alaska who got kicked out from the gym, is Planet Fitness going to, you know, ban this woman? Now, a rock, now Planet Fitness responded this morning saying, at Planet Fitness, the safety of our employees and members is top priority, and we have a zero tolerance for harassment of any kind in our clubs, said McCall Goslin. Chief Corporate Officer, uh, Affairs Officer at Planet Fitness. We took immediate action to ensure the safety of club members, including notifying and working with law enforcement. That's not true. The patron notified law enforcement. You didn't notify them. A, a shocked woman sitting in there, probably just getting out of the shower, had to call 911 because that's your policy. So now you're going to have to, what, go to court? Because... You're going to have to go to court and prove that this person isn't trans. What if they identified as trans that morning and didn't make any social media posts about it? How do you disprove that? You literally can't, dis you can't disprove that. 
All he has to do is stick by his story, and he should win this court case. Again, the incident in North Carolina comes after Planet Fitness in Fairbanks, Alaska banned another woman, Patricia Silva, because she didn't like a dude being around that. I mean, this is, this is obviously like, you know, people make fun of the gym itself. I don't care. I think if you're going to work out and you take, you know, you take that seriously, then that should be, you know, you should be happy to do that. But I feel like there's a lot of other places out there. <laughs> there's a lot of other places out there where you can work out. But in this particular one, I mean, how many more times is this going to have to happen? Every, uh, you know, is a woman going to have to have something terrible happen to her? Is that, is that what, is that what it's going to take for Planet Fitness to say, okay, look, it's not about excluding individuals. It's about being, you know, keeping people safe. Meanwhile, the mainstream media is out here worrying about, you know, the media is trying to get the FBI to investigate me for reporting on Planet Fitness policies. That's what the media is worried about. Advocate runs FBI response to spat of threats against Planet Fitness after right-wing transphobic campaign. Nobody is saying that, hey, look, I don't care if trans people use the gym. I don't care if they work out right next to me. I don't care if they work with me. I don't care. I don't care about any of that. Just go to the right bathroom. Okay, go to the, go, go to the, I mean, the bathroom thing is already sketched. Now you're talking about the showers, which is yet another push, right? And they're worried about contacting the FBI. Why? Because libs of TikTok posted a few tweets about it. You see, again, here, Planet Fitness isn't safe for women. 32,000 likes. Here's the offender's booking details. It wasn't just, uh, you know, flashing the, the stuff. The article claims that there was also, also a someone who was not 18 in there. You know? And again, the policies enable this. In my opinion, Planet Fitness is just as culpable. But I suppose they're going to wait for something horrible to happen to women before they finally change their policies, and it's going to be a damn shame. I hope you're informed by this video. If you did, please do follow or subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, um, please do. And if you haven't yet, check out the Veebs app, which is also linked in the description below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.